Hello everyone, I'm Mayfic1210, and today we'll be taking a look at the long-awaited 75348 Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor. Look, kudos to the Mandalorian Fang Fighter, but it's like the Razor Crest. Sure, it was a nicely built set, and there's nothing wrong with it. But the real reason we were buying the Razor Crest is because it was the first set with a Baby Yoda figure. It's the same thing with the TIE Interceptor. It's been 17 years since we got the last proper TIE Interceptor set. And no, that red one, it, um, doesn't, doesn't count. But now that we've got the set in hand, there's just a few things that need to be fixed to really make this the perfect remake. Now first things first, we gotta remove the spring-loaded shooters. Starting with the TIE Interceptor, remove this 6x4 inverted cutout slope piece from the bottom of the cockpit area. Now remove the spring load shooters, and then these two dark bluish gray tiles. Focusing on the slope piece here, you'll need to add two 1x2 light bluish gray inverted slope bricks on the end here. Then put two 1x3 light bluish gray bricks here and here. Put this sub-assembly back onto the tie interceptor, and to fill in that remaining gap there, we'll need to make another small sub-assembly. Off the side, use a modified 1x4 plate, and put two 1x1 headlight bricks onto the open studs. Then place two round pin holder tiles onto the studs like this. Take this sub-assembly and place it in the open slot on the cockpit area to complete the look. Moving into the cockpit of the interceptor, this TIE Fighter is one of the few not to include an accurate control system. LEGO does give us this printed slope piece, but in the actual TIE Interceptor, it has this nice apparatus like all other TIE Fighters. Fixing this oversight will be ridiculously easy. First, pop off that original control panel build until you're left with these two open studs. Then, tear off that entire windscreen construction all the way down to that bracket piece here. From here, take off this 2x2 plate, leaving the windscreen and the two clip pieces still attached. Now, add a 1x2 side clip piece onto the top two studs with a 1x2 plate and any color beneath it. Now, add a battle droid torso with a 1x1 clip piece attached to its back right here onto the clip piece. Take this assembly here and reattach it to the interceptor to complete the mod. This is where the fun begins. We would be honored if you would join us. Moving on from the interceptor, it's time to give the Mandalorian Fang Fighter some love. Now this is a very sleek and well-built ship. However, there's just a few glaring issues to address. First the storage space. It's really, really small, and it's very annoying for a set that's very heavy in minifigure accessories. Additionally, the engine flames on the back use these translucent blue pieces. However, in The Mandalorian, the ship's engines give off a very prominent orange glow. And to top it all off, it still has spring-loaded shooters. Alright, so let's start with the easiest mod first. Replace the three cone pieces on the back with the same piece and translucent orange. Now the next mod is going to be two birds with one stone. Start by taking off the spring load shooter pieces like this. Then tile off these three studs here and add a 1x1 clip piece at the end. Repeat this on the other side, and I suggest using a grill piece if you want to add some extra detail. And with all their mods in place, here they are. I'm very happy with how the Fang Fighter turned out. Just a little extra storage on the bomb nicely replaces the old spring load shooters, and it blends in with the ship very well. Having the correct engine exhaust also helps make this set feel more complete and much more accurate. However, the real star has always been the tire interceptor. Adding in the accurate cockpit controls and fixing the shooters really makes the set feel like an actual miniature from Return of the Jedi. The interceptor has always had such an iconic and striking look to it, and I'm really happy to finally do it justice. But that's all for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and hit that bell for more videos coming soon. Again, thank you all for watching, and as always, keep on building.